Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 9 of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Alright. So now, yeah, sorry for no video yesterday. Actually, like, no videos of either Majora's Mask or Super Mario RPG. Um, I was just really busy yesterday, so I didn't have much time to do it. Or any time, really. So, yeah. And this video will be up late today, so you'll probably see it by tomorrow, actually. Anyways, um, this is... So let's just get on with this. This is Tadpole Pond, the place that we were trying to get to, and this music is really annoying. I hate it so much, but alright. So let's go on the magical stepping stone, and giant sperms come out of the water. Hi, can I help you? Mallow's going crazy. Mallow, it's you! We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario, but there's only been like a few episodes of them. What? You guys beat up below him, right? New Damn, news travels fast around here. You know about that? See, Mario, the, way the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Oh, clever rhyming, Mallow. You suck. Are you really THE Super Mario? Hey, everybody, you'll never guess who's here. Oh my god, look, there's like an army of them. It's, Arm it's Armageddon Sperm. Here's the real thing. He's the real thing, but doesn't... But he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if that's only a rumor. Does this look like a rumor to you? Wait, wait. Boing. Oh my god. Why can't you do that when you normally jump, Mario? Jeez. Well, Grasshopper, what's new? Oh. What? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Oh yeah. I remember that. What? What the hell's going on? Oh my god! It's like... He's... Awesome. I don't know. Confucius Frog. Frogfucius. Welcome. So you are Mario, yes? I am Frogfucius. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. <laughs> But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come come along and we'll talk. Clear. Full, full reverse. Alright. Sorry, I can't think of anything to say. Tapples, don't just float there. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Yeah, I just kind of started this recording session off a whim. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That might not have been the best move. <laughs> Let's make them just go spasm. Alright. And since I forgot to do this in the last recording session, I need to give a shout out to Devonian Pones Noobs 3 because he actually managed to guess the meaning behind my two clues in a private messenger. Actually, several private messages, I think. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake in my wi of my wisdom, child, children. Alright, I'll explain I'll explain the clue myself in just a little bit after we're done with this dialogue here. So, yeah. Let's see. That's a smithy character that appeared in Bowser's Keep. He is quite formidable, yes. And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? Nah, I can just leave her. What, like, what do I care? But oh, I only knew, if only you knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer- What? She's not even there anymore? Awkward silence. <laughs> Mario just jumps up, it's a bunny. Patient one. let me explain. Here's what happened. You were rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash, and so a huge sword split the sky. Just like that! Oh my god. Whoosh! Out of the blue! The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost somewhere out there. Now? Now? You want, you're worried about the princess, but first you need to care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Mac, whom you defeated at the Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. No! Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star of the castle of Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? Yeah, that can kind of confuse me too. A story, eh? most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Well, that's probably why this is called Super Mario RPG: Legend of the Seven Stars. Stupid old man. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? No. Stupid. I hate it when they do that. It's a it's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Yes, it is. Why is Mallow looking so sad? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac was only the first of many Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. 
Like, that's possible. Jeez. Mello, you speak as if these things are, do not concern you. I just hear, heard a random beep from somewhere. Oh, well. You will come to Mario on his adventure, too. What? Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. And the music starts to fade out. Mallow, my boy, I've kept this from you until now. But you're... Not a tadpole! Zom GWFB Bicky Sauce. Say what? Really? I would have never guessed you're not a tadpole now. I was sitting there one rainy day enjoying a snack of crickets. When I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I f f felt sorry for the little bundle of puff. <laughs> little bundle of puff, that's so cute. And took him in to raise my as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? Dude, you just said that. Sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. Boom! Get him pissed off. Mallow, now's not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there, somewhere. Yeah, but do you really need to find them? Like, they kind of abandoned you. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Alright, I guess I don't have a choice. Grandpa, I won't cry. Why is Mal looking at me, those evil eyes of death? I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure, miss, immediately. First, go to Rose Town, where they, where they need your help. Wow, this guy really does know everything that they like. They need our help in Rose Town. All right, um. So before we depart and go on our epic quest to Rose Town, for, don't forget to talk to Frog Fuchsia here. It will be quite. It will be quiet around here with Mellow gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. And oh my God, he gets all happy and floaty and excited. That's right. I had forgotten all about it. I will give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. Ah, I know. You can have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. What is Mallow's age, anyways? The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. So that's the importance of the cricket pie, is to get the Mallow's first weapon. So And that is very useful for him. See, it's going to raise his attack from 31 to 51. Pretty substantial increase if I do see some myself. And I do. Alright. So let's just hop back across here and let's explore the rest of Tadpole Pond. Why not? What's over here? This is... This is... Let me... Oh, there we go. Welcome to the Juice Bar. Are you a card member? Even Toad of Sky has a membership here. Sorry, you're limited to this menu if you don't have a current membership card. Wow. Froggy drink. What does that do? Party recovers 3 HP. So it's a mushroom. Wow. It's a, it's a carbon copy of a mushroom with a different name posted on it. You know... It's like two clowns singing with one voice. Welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium. And that quote didn't make any sense at all, actually, now that I think about it. I call shenanigans on myself. You're a first time, aren't you? Listen up, the green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them and you can buy items at Tadpole Pond. And yeah, these are some pretty neat little items, but uh, we're, we're not going to buy any of them. Not right now, anyways. Perhaps later. Alright, and down here, there's more stuff. There's, like, this guy. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as Toad of Sky. Who is Toad of Sky, anyways? My favorite song? It's Frog Fuchsia's suite number 18. So, la, mi, re, do, re, do, re. Toad of Sky is fond of it, too. And that is actually a hint to something we have to do over here. In Melody Bay. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's, he let's hear your mer melody. So remember, so la mi re do re do re. I think I'm gonna go with Shaq. Sorry, I, I have a kind of small memory for this song. Whatever. Right. So la mi re do re do re. All right. So so la mi re do re do re. Awesome sauce. Right now, how does this go? Is it like do re mi fa so la ti? So like, oh no, I wanted to jump there, Mario. I pressed the jump button. So so. All right. So la mi re do re. So la ti. Okay. So ah, I'm so confused. Is it there? All right. 
Sola. Do re mi. Re. No. Oh shit. All right, I messed it up. All right, let's let's hear my awesome compose composition, anyways. And does he like it? Is that is that something you composed? It's not what I'm looking for. It won't do at all. Oh well. Uh, you know what? I actually kind of forget the order like of the notes, like which note is which. So I'm just gonna leave this for another day. We'll come back later. There's actually quite a few songs that we can do. So. Uh, not my last save. I don't care. I'm being smart, using two saves at the same time, so that I don't lose my progress. Yay! All right. Now let's go on our misadventures. Yay. Got nothing to say. Except for the fact that these trees look awesome. I love these trees. They look does it is it just me or do they look like they have faces on them? Like I wanna talk to this tree. Let me talk to this tree. The, the faces kinda scare me though, so I'm just gonna run away. And we're gonna go to Rose Way instead of just being able to go right to Rose Town, gotta go through Rose Way, just like Mushroom Way. You can't jump on or off when the block is blue. Try jumping when the block turns yellow. Uh, okay. So this is a new little type of platform here. Basically, it just carries you to a certain area. And, yeah, it's kind of fun that way. So, let me... Okay, yeah. Basically, this isn't really much of a puzzle at all in any way. Oh, wait. I think I can keep going here. Yeah, there's a flower. Flower! Oh, my God. What is this? I'm being attacked by a giant tarantula and a freaking floaty star of doom. Alright, so this is an arachne and a star slap. Alright. Wee boing. Alright. Oh, by the way, I need to show off the commands for our two new weapons. I forgot about that. Alright. So for the froggy stick, it's basically the same as the hammer. Like, when on the downswing, you press A again, and you'll get a second hit just like that. Awesome. Alright, the star slap didn't get to do anything, but you get to do venom drool! Ew! I don't want your nasty-ass venom all over me. Especially when it's in drool form. Right, and for the knock knock shell, basically when it when Mario launches it up, as soon as it comes back down and comes into contact with Mario, that's when you press A. Just like that. Awesome. And we'll just keep beating on this guy. Die, Arachne. You don't belong in this world. Ow. That was mean. Alright, and he's done. Awesome possum. Right, and I guess that was all that was over there, that flower. Okay, where does this take me? This takes me to many places. I want that coin. God damn it. Alright, let's just head over here. I kind of forget my way through this area too, but here's some shy guys. Cool. I think these are different from the ones we fought earlier, so. Yeah, see, this is a shy guy, not a shy sir. And a star slot. So we'll just go up to the shy guy, because we can. We beating on his face. Get your face out of my place, shy guy. And slap, 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 slap. Jeez, did they come up with a more uncreative name for that enemy? It's a star, and it slaps you. Therefore, it must be called Star Slap. That is only logical. It's not even Nintendo logic, it's actually logical this time. This time, and this time only. Alright, gotcha. Oh no! You really don't want to, like, actually hit these plat- Okay, I guess I can't jump on- Jump and fight him on that platform. But you don't want to get these platforms out of sync, otherwise- Oh my god! That was frightening. <laughs> I got, I got like, oh, I guess you can jump and get to him, but like I landed on like the one pixel of that platform that is just, just barely out of his attacking zone. Doom reverb, that sounds painful. You're killing me with music notes. Is that, is that the idea here? Oh, you put me to sleep. That's lovely. All right, so I'm gonna smash your face in with my shell. And Milo wakes up, I guess. Or else he's hacking. It. Yeah, he's, he's still asleep there. What the fuck? Oh no, wait, no, that's that's not him sleeping. That's muted. I think that just means he can't use magic attacks. I think. I think. I think. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. You know. You know, like stone holds and globos. All right. So, um, this is pretty much the end of the episode here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug from you people. So. Thank you everyone for watching. In the next episode, we'll do more awesome possum, clawsome, awesome stuff. Alright, so, 
Until then, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.